voice acting. If my channel is anything to go by, there is a ton. Nay, a plethora, nay, a gigantic shit pile of voice acting out there. <laughs> That is terrible. But seriously, other than my videos, I react to a bunch of bad voice acting clips out there. And it's no question that some of these voice acting clips are just the worst. We all probably wonder how they happen, but a comment that creeps up a lot on these videos where I react to bad voice acting is, Connor, why don't you remake these bad voice acting clips? But better, it should be so easy. Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. Will it be easy? Will it succeed? Will it sound good? Here are the rules of the challenge. First rule, we will not enhance the footage at all. We won't use any color correction. We won't up the saturation. We will make it look better at all. It'll look the same. The second rule, we will not change the script in any way. We will be voice acting it the exact same way that it was in the original. And the third rule, we will not be adding any sound effects or music. So if the original doesn't have sound effects, doesn't have music, we will also be doing the same. Now, I have a theory. For some of these clips, I think even if we categorically improve the voice acting, that some of the clips will still feel awkward and bad and cringy and if that does happen I will try my best to explain where that's coming from. So with the help of Alejandro Saab, Michael Kovac and Brandon McInnes we will be dubbing over these five clips hopefully better. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. I've been waiting for you. Keep the runt in chains. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. It sure is boring around here. The first step is to essentially remove any dialogue from the audio. There are a few ways we can go about doing this. Fortunately, the only audio in The Devil May Cry 4 is the actual soundtrack, which we can find online. I use Shazam to find the song. There's no other audio in it, so we have that sorted. Luckily, someone had uploaded The Legend of Zelda CDI games without dialogue, so that's those two ticked off. House of the Dead also had no music or sound effects, so we don't need to do anything, so that's clear. And Mega Man had no music, only a few sound effects which weren't too hard to find online. They were just some beeps and boops, so I just downloaded the beeps and boops sound effect pack, put those in. So that's how we got a fresh, clean slate. So all we need to do now is record the dialogue. So what we're gonna do next is get on a call with the voice actors and direct them to get the takes that we want and maybe ask them a few questions. Hi, I'm Alejandro Sav. I'm Kagi Films on YouTube, but I am a professional voice actor. I've done voiceover in anime, video games, and cartoons. And you're watching Sea Dog. <laughs> I don't know what you have it is. Mega Man and Link, I, I'm thinking a similar kind of range. <laughs> like high pitch, kind of not high pitch, but you know, you know you know what I mean. Like right, 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 right. Protagonist anime. Yeah. And then Ganon. The protagonist voice. <laughs> Perfect. And then Ganon, I was kind of thinking like something like demonic. Um, oh sure. If you want to just do a bunch of takes and we can figure out what works, uh, I guess we could. Uh, yeah, it's again, it isn't sure. very serious, so don't, don't like, don't worry about it. Look, I'm gonna. Uh, here, here's what I'm gonna <laughs> do. Have fun with it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a pass where I watch the clip and try to match the flaps. Okay. And I'm just gonna say. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Professionalism. Let's go. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Great. I'll grab my stuff. See, that, that already sounds so much better than the original. Oh, it's perfect. All right, I guess, uh, which one do you want to do next? All right, let's flip it. Let's go Ganon. What kind of voice? I'm thinking kind of like, you know, Ganon's supposed to be like scary, right? I got like, you. Like, Say I, less. I, okay, okay. This is what you want. <laughs> <laughs> to me, in, in the original clip, his, his deepness kind of sounds like forced and kind of fake. I'm kind of wanting it to be like a bit richer and more realistic, like, like the, like, and maybe more demonic. Give me a voice that you think might fit for Ganon. No pressure. Silence! Hector, keep the runt in chains. Ooh, I love that silence. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Fantastic. I do not make films. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Fred. I really appreciate you helping me. Hi, I'm Michael Kovach. You might know me as the voice of Angel Dust in Has Been Hotel. Hello. Okay, the wizard, that's that character. Yeah, you're doing the okay. Your Majesty. Yeah, you can have. Your Majesty, Ganon and his men. Oh, this, oh, that's, oh, this voice is perfect. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and fetch the uh, script. I know it by heart. Do I you actually? The script. <laughs> yeah, I know the beginning part of it by, hand, <laughs> I got by the memory, yeah. Alright, perfect. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Koridai. Goldman! Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. This is like this is like how we used to do auditions back in the day. Like crank that microphone up. Goldman, <laughs> do you know what you're doing? Uh, okay.
okay, let me do at least like one take. Go, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want, I want one good take. <laughs> just to improve it. Goldman. Do you know what you're doing? Do you want to, like, tell people where to go and follow you? You can check me out on Twitter. My Twitter is just at K-O-V-O-X, Kovacs. All right. Thanks. Look here, you want to do some voice acting? Here, just talk. Just, just talk. You'll be great. <laughs> hey, everyone. My name is Brandon McInnes, and I am a voice actor for anime. I am the voice of Sir Night Eye in My Hero Academia in the English dub, which is playing right now. Woo! Season four. Okay, so let's do this. He's sad. Got, oh, there's some regret. All right. And there's some swelling music, so we know that's that's a big emotional moment. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! Oh, wow, I peaked. This is why it's always important to get your levels. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! And that is voice acting. You have to go to your deepest despair. You have to feel very sad or very happy. Thank you so much, Connor, for this wonderful, wonderful exercise. I had a great time. I just uploaded my Witcher cover, uh, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher, so check that out if you get a chance. Thanks, everyone. Welcome to the voice recording part of this video, where I will be recording my lines for the remaking. We have here the Sontronics STC3X. I'm using Audition, Adobe Audition, to edit my audio. I think it's one of the better tools out there. Much better than Audacity, a lot more powerful, and I have a pop filter that won't stay up. <laughs> Ideally, you would want to record what I'm about to record in a sound-treated room. However, the lines aren't that intensive. I only have like five or six to do. It's really not a big deal, so we can just do them in here. We're going to start with the Mega Man lines, which I think will be the most difficult, I'm not sure. A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. Hmm, maybe. When providing the clips to the other actors, because they had to match lip flaps, I wanted to make their job as easy as possible, so I provided a countdown. And go. You. And that countdown essentially just tells the actor when to start, as sometimes you might forget where the lip flap is, so having a one, two, three, Deliver your line. It makes it a lot easier. I know some of the anime studios do this when they dub anime. I believe Funimation uses this method. And it's a very beginner-friendly method to make sure that you can match a lip flap and your timing isn't off. One method you can do at home if you do want to get better at dubbing is actually moving your mouth to the mouth on screen and trying to then, after you get comfortable with the mouth positions that they're doing, say the line. Strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. What am I, as an actor, going to improve upon on Dr. Light's performance? God damn it. <laughs> Stay the f*** up. So, how can we, as an actor, improve the already existing performance? First off, we need to objectively break down what is wrong or what is bad about this performance. We're all pretty sure that Dr. Light shouldn't have a, a lisp or, or speech impediment of any kind. So the first thing we're going to do to improve this performance is make sure the enunciation is perfect. Second of all, I find that the character kind of voices almost lackluster, like like there's no urgency. I believe we're trying to save the world in this, this game. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that. Basically, what's happening is important. So we need to make sure that we sound like we give a f about what's happening in this world. By the way, side note, don't drink co iced coffee while you're doing voiceover. It it's terrible for your mouth. It, it makes it all kind of phlegmy. Drinking a bit of water is, is perfect. Just take small sips every now and then. Don't drink a bunch in one go and don't drink any at all. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the media back. Okay. Hmm. One thing I'm gonna, I think, will struggle with this while I'm doing this is, is that I, I find that he talks very fast for an old guy. He, he's not really, you know, think of how many old people you know that talk very, very fast. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Ooh, I like that one. That one was good. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. See, there in the original, they don't even match the lip flaps towards the end there. What's up with that? Something, Something this powerful must, must not, not fall in the hands, hands of great evil. evil. I could be going too deep on this voice. I don't know. We'll see when we edit it. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. But the character of Goldman in House of the Dead, uh, there's an awful, awful lot to fix. For example, listen to this first line. I've been waiting for you, friends. If we can't fix that, then then I'm not I'm not I, I'm not allowed to be here. Honestly, the original sin that man is responsible. To 
Listen to his pitch. It's up here, right? His pitch is up there. Now listen to this clip. I've been waiting for you. It sounds almost too different to be the same character. It doesn't sound like the same character playing with a pitch. It sounds like one guy doing two different characters. Do you know what you're doing? So for this character, I want to really emphasize the severity of the situation. Not sound like a clown like this guy does. Don't mess with the pitch too much so that we don't sound like a different character entirely. But also... Fix everything. I've been waiting for you, friends. I've been wait. I've been waiting for you, friends. Oh my God, my voice keeps trickling like his does. God damn it. He's, cause he's, he's saying the friends so slowly. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Okay, we have something there. I'm pretty sure for every line. First thing we're gonna do on each of the lines is cut out any of the background noise. Your everyday noise removal in Audacity is not very good, but there are some plugins which are amazing at removing noise. I have the RX-7 Isotope Editor, which is a fantastic audio tool. Very powerful, very expensive, but it is beautiful. Alrighty, we are basically done. So what we're gonna do next is compare the clips one to one. I'm gonna play them in full in the original and then the improved version. Let's start off with the Devil May Cry 4 light scene. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. It gets me every time. I feel so sorry for the voice actor. And now let's play the redubbed version. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light! Maybe I'm biased. I think Brandon killed it, and I just think that is objectively better in every sense. I, I feel like he nailed it, and the emotion's there, the raw energy is there. And honestly, I think the original actor could have easily nailed that if they'd let him do another take. I, I don't understand why they used the original clip that they did. I, I, it could have been a time constraint. Maybe the voice actor was sick, couldn't record anymore. I don't know, we can only speculate. All I do know is that Brandon nailed the line. And I think we can objectively say that this has been improved. Next clip is the Mega Man clip. Dr. Light, what is the problem? A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the meteor back. Okay. God, it's so stiff. I feel like the voice acting has no, like, heart in it, you know? Like, it hasn't, I don't know, not, not, I, There's a lot of problems with the original Mega Man, from Dr. Light's pronunciation and general delivery, to Mega Man sounding, uh, like a little girl. So, this is what we did to it. Dr. Light, what is the problem? A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall in the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the meteor back. Okay. So I think the Mega Man redub that I did is definitely much better, but I still don't think it sounds good. I think it sounds eh. One, for starters, I, I think my Dr. Light voice was kind of meh. I, I feel like it, it could have been a bit more cheery and, and a little less daunting. And I think Link as well. I think Kagi's voice is a little uh, too old for Mega Man. I think it could have been a little younger, but again, I wasn't casting super seriously. It was more of a case of, hey, who's available? Let's do it. If we wanted to improve this 100%, I think we need a complete script rewrite. I think that's the main thing here. I'd say on a scale of one to 10, how much we improve from the original is like a three or a four, maybe a five and a push. I also think that the professional sounding setups that we're using and the mixing quality sounds really weird on an NES game. You wouldn't expect that quality. So I feel like when you watch it, your brain is just telling you, uh, this, is, this is weird. 
And I have a feeling that's gonna happen to some of the other clips as well. Maybe you disagree? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's do the Zelda CDI scenes next. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Korodai. Hmm, how can we help? It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Great, I'll grab my stuff. Okay, that's the original. Now let's have a look what we did for it. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. <laughs> Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Koridai. Hmm, how can we help? It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Great, I'll grab my stuff. Uh, I honestly don't think the dub that I did sounds much better at all. <laughs> the more I go back to the original clip, the more I think that Link is the only one that sounds dreadful. I don't think the elderly characters and the wizard sound bad at all. I think they genuinely sound okay. Like, if you actually break down the delivery of the lines, they're pretty good. It's just like the cursed animation. It's so gross that like everything involved with it just feels nasty. Also, trying to dub over this footage is a nightmare because unlike lip flaps where it's just a static position where the mouths are like, this, because their mouth shape is moving everywhere and they're zooming in and out, you have to match it one for one. That means copying their delivery pretty much, which makes it sound awful. <laughs> it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive. So the iconic line with the as sure is boring around here, it's near impossible to make it sound different when they have this exact same cadence to it and we can't change it because look at the lip shape. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Again, on a scale of one to 10, I, I feel like if we've improved it by anything, it's like a two or a three. It's such a minimal improvement. It's still bad. So it's like, ugh, we, we, I don't really, I don't even think we can call it like fixed, you know? If we wanted to improve this categorically, I don't want to say it, but I think the animation just has to change. The animation has to go. I also think the script is just stupid. Oh, gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, I'm flying on my carpet. F you know, it, it's so dumb. It is, what's happening? It's, it's a cluster. It's all terrible. All right, let's listen to the second Zelda CDI clip. You are my prisoner. Hey! Silence! Hectan, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. This one just sounds weird. Again, with the animation, everything, it looks bad. Let's have a look what we did to it. You are my prisoner. Hey. Silence! Hector, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. I honestly think we improved this one quite a lot. Uh, there's a few things that we did to it. So first of all, Ganon in the original kind of sounds anemic. He doesn't sound like this foreboding force on top of you. He kind of sounds like, I don't know, like a chain smoker who just ran out of 7-Eleven. Like, it doesn't sound like a, a daunting voice at all. Let's listen again. You are my prisoner. Hey. Silence! Hector! And then I made this old creepy guy sound a lot more creepy and a lot more evil. Yes, master. And I think this clip overall is much better. I, I think this is an example of how we could improve the voice acting in the Zelda CDI games better than the previous clip. Because the previous clip, I don't think the voice acting was the worst part. But this one, definitely the voice acting was terrible and we, and we could easily improve it. I think on a scale of 1 to 10 for this clip, we definitely improved it by a 6 or a 7. And finally, House of the Dead. An example of just horrific voice acting. Let's listen. I've been waiting for you, friends. Goldman! Do you know what you're doing? I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? Man committed a sin, disturbing the life cycle of nature. The original sin that man is responsible to. To protect the life cycle. I have made a creature to rule over mankind. This is the final battle. Show yourself. Our new ruler, the Emperor. The animation in this is weird. 
it, it, it sometimes is good, and then, like, at this point, the guy just stands up. Like, watch this. A creature to rule over mankind. This he just stands up. He, they don't show him standing up. It's just like, we could animate hands and faces, but we couldn't animate a dude standing up. All right. Well, well, well. So here is my fixed version, if you will. I've been waiting for you, friends. Goldman, do you know what you're doing? I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? Man committed a sin, disturbing the life cycle of nature. The original sin that man is responsible to, to protect the life cycle. I have made a creature to rule over mankind. This is the final battle. Show yourself, our new ruler, the Emperor. Eh. I did a few takes of this and I honestly just didn't like anything that I did for it because the lines and the dialogue feel really climactic and the footage isn't. I feel like I improved this by maybe like a three. I really didn't do much better than the original. First of all, I think that the lack of music or sound effects is odd. It's a really climactic scene. You're in the arcade, you have your guns pointing, you're ready. You, you've, been, you've spent like $10 getting to this point. It's, it's taken all your money. Finally, you get to the end cut scene. It should be this glorifying moment, this amazing grand moment. It's, it's the reveal. And then there's just this weird dialogue with pauses in it and no music or sound effects to push it up? I, I don't know. It's weird. With Devil May Cry 4, where I think we just ultimately made it sound like the perfect version, I think the reason why that is is because everything else in that scene is great. The music, the animation, oh, it's all glorious. It's great. For the other clips, there's a lot more problems than just the voice acting. For Mega Man, the script was questionable at best. The voice acting was a mess and it was just not consistent at all with the original script. The animation is decent, it's great, but there's no sound effect, there's no music in the scene, it feels kind of stationary, it doesn't really feel like anything's happening. And again, a similar problem with the Zelda CDI games. I don't think ultimately the voice acting was the sole problem. We can fix the voice acting and make it sound better, but I still don't think it sounds good. I think there's still a lot more that needs to go into it. With the House of the Dead, <laughs> Uh, it's just bad. Like, the animation is fine, but the, the script is questionable, and the animation with the script doesn't really match up. There's no music, there's no sound effects, there's no grandiose drama to it. It's just kind of plain. And I realize now this is a great lesson to those who are so quick to judge voice acting for being bad. Even if the voice acting was bad, is that because of the voice actor? Is it because of the voice director? Is it because there was a voice director? Was there anyone even directing it? There are some games in the early 90s and 80s that had no direction at all. There was no director. They just brought voice actors in and let them do what they wanted to do. And there are a lot of people out there who when they hear a really cringy clip or a really terrible clip from a video game or an anime, it's the voice acting, right? It has to be the voice acting. That's what sounds weird. When in reality, a production is a building blocks. Voice acting is one aspect. If everything else is perfect and the voice acting is bad, you can fix that. But if everything else, all those building blocks aren't there, the voice acting isn't going to make it sound good. You need everything. It's a production. It's multiple things. And I hope in future when you see a bad voice acting clip that you can maybe break down why it is that it's bad. Is it actually the voice acting? Or is it something else? I think voice actors get way more shit than they deserve and I hope you cut them some slack with this video. So shout out to all my voice actors out there. Keep trying, even if you're new, keep improving. It's a beautiful thing. It's a lot of fun and we all love doing it. So just keep trying, keep at it. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share and comment. A lot of people put a lot of time into making this video and I'm so grateful to everyone who did. Please do go and follow all the voice actors down below. They are amazing voice actors and they really deserve a lot more love. And if you wanna help support me and my channel, you can do so by going to Patreon. I will see you beautiful weebs on another video very shortly, probably within five days. That's how often I upload. Bye.